Hi, Mary with Reviewer's Diary. I was not going to do this. I was really not going to do this. But I am throwing my hat in the ring to do 13 by Halloween. <laughs> I'm already in um, 100 pan. That doesn't end until next year, though. Like the middle of next year. Um, and I'm also in a makeup use up. And I'm also in a full face collab with Catherine Pye. I did want to pick products that are not in any of the other challenges. There's only one that's a crossover and I almost threw it out. Um, so anyway, I came up with 13 products that I want to use up by October 31st. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm going to go over each thing. First thing is this Dr. Brandt CCBB whatever um, cream. Now this is actually in my uh, 100 pan, I believe, um, that ends next year. It might also be in my, it might be in my makeup use up 2016. I'm not sure. But anyway, I have it on today. I had to do quite a bit of damage control after I put it on because it comes out like it's supposed to adjust to your skin tone and it really does not. So I had to employ the highlighter trick that I never do and that was to put, I should say, um, concealer. Put it on my forehead, down my nose, on my lip, on my chin um, and tried to make a V under my eyes and I also put a, pa a powder on that's like really 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 light. I'm still going to keep this in there. I was going to toss this right into my empties basket and just can it after talking about it in my empties video but then I thought you know what I can make this work. I have like a super uber uber light thing um, this Pond's is super, super light, and I think a little score to this and a little score to this will end up making the perfect color, because this is too light and this is too dark, and so this is my first of 13 things. This is about, I think it's about half full. I'm not going to bother to mark it because I can't see through it, um, but... Uh, I can tap that, yeah, it's about, it's about half full, so, um, like, yeah, it's to right about there, right underneath the, huh, it's more full than I thought, um, right up to where these little dots are. I only used this a couple times. It was too dark for me. But I figured, let me throw this in here because I do want to use it up. And after I was successful rescuing myself from looking orange, um, I just thought, well, I'll keep it in there. So that is number one. This Amika Dry Shampoo. This has been in my drawer, in my collection. It's like pretty darn old. So... I think it's time to use this up. I haven't used it. It's like totally full. So now I'm going to have to like really push myself to finish that up. Next thing is a mask and it's called a cell stimulating mask by a cure. So far everything is cruelty free except for the Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free. This is cruelty free and a cure is cruelty free. So this mask is a full ounce, but I think it's going to take me a while to use that up. The next thing is a body scrub that I got in a goodie bag from Ulta with, you know, like I spent like a good zillion dollars or something. I don't remember how much I spent, but it came in a shiny bag from Ulta and that is this hemp sea age defying it's like a body scrub now this has been languishing in my drawer and I know from experience this is a brand that I like the feel of so this is completely full I've never used it and um, pretty much almost all this stuff I've never used but this I think is going to be really nice to use up. 
So this is gonna have to go right in my shower. I'm gonna go on to a face primer and it's a little one. It also came in a bag from Ulta, like a thank you for buying stuff from us type of a bag. And this is, has never even had the plastic taken off. It's brand new. So not new new, but it's been sitting in my drawer unused. So I'm gonna give this a try but it's never been used and it's little, but if you know from experience that primers you only need like less than a pea size amount is what I use. So this is gonna take a while. Like I might not be done with that um, when October 31st comes. Now the next thing I have are, I did put in two eyeshadows and an eyeshadow stick and an eyeshadow stick. So, um, the first one is J-Cat, and I have had this for a long time. I'm wearing it today. I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to make me itch. It doesn't smell funny or anything, and um, it's a really beautiful color. You can see that there is a dip in it, like brush mark type dip. What I'm looking for on this one is to completely use this up because I think I can use it up. It's not a lot of shadow. This part lifts up and it has like a little tiny brush. Am I even showing you this right? So this only has this little bit of shadow right there. Well, actually that's a pretty good size amount. Hmm. But I really like this color. It, it is really complimentary on, especially for the summer, because it's like a coral type of a color. And, um, you know, I, I think I can use this up. I think it'd be good in the fall, too, just because it's orange and it's like kind of like... Well, it's not orange-orange, because you can see I, I do have it on. Um, but it's golden-y orange, so... Yeah, it's kind of neat color. Next thing I have in here is an eyeshadow that is um, came in one of my cruelty free boxes. I think it was in a. I don't think it was Good Being. I think it was in a Vegan Cuts box, and it is this Han eyeshadow. It's 100% pure. Of course, it's cruelty free because came in a cruelty free box. Uh, it is a really beautiful brown. It's darker than it's looking in the viewfinder of the camera. It's much darker. Uh, I only used this for the first time today, and I really do like it. I'm going to swatch both of these for you. Um, first the J-Cats, which is very powdery shadow, so I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it. When it's gone, I might be just happy. <laughs> okay. I like this brown because it has like a duochrome kind of a look to it. And this is the light the J-Cat's next to it. So you can see it does really blend into your skin and this um, brown color is like really, really, really awesome. In keeping with the brown, <laughs> see if you watch my makeup basket and you watch my um, my new palette video, um, pen that palette, you'll see that I have a lot of color involved. So a little bit of brown is a good thing. So I did take out this Tristique, and this is a shadow pen, which. I remember when we first got these that everybody was like, hey, they left the cap off, oh my god, <laughs> because of the design. So I've never used this ever, like not once, and it has a lot of shadow in it. I'll mark all this stuff when I'm done um, doing this, but yeah, it's got a lot of shadow in it, and so I don't know, but I'm thinking I might use it as kind of a base type of thing. It's all to see. 
it's pretty dark, but it's definitely worth um, trying. Okay, so the next thing, now I would be at 14, but um, I don't think I will be if I group these two things together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, thirteen. So I have this Chella eyebrow pencil and this eyebrow gel, and I'm counting these as one thing. The eyebrow pencil still has a ton of product in it, and so does the eyebrow gel. But I think since I've been using this one, that it might be gone in three months, which would be, you know, October 31st. And certainly the brow gel is not a huge one, and so I have tons of brow gel. I really want to get this used up and out because I have so much. And I, I have two more of these cello pencils, so it's like, it's time to use those up. All right, I have this little Tarte lippy in here and I have it on. I do have a little bit of gloss over it. This I never used except for today. It has like this menthol -y minty kind of a taste to it, which is kind of weird, but it has plenty of product in there. Certainly I know from experience that crayons do take forever to use up. Believe it or not, this Tartiest lip pencil goes beautifully with that. Like you wouldn't think so, but it goes really beautifully with that color, lip color. This I've never used, and it is like, um, shoot, what's wrong here? I think, did I break it? I don't think I did. It just doesn't want to roll up and down. You know what? Uh, ooh, it's not going back down. Oh, shoot. No, it'll only roll up. Oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it broke. Son of a bitch. Well, Today is the first time I've ever used this. It does have whatever amount of product it came with because I just found out that you can't roll it up because it won't go back down again. So I'm going to use this pencil, but I'm not going to be able to measure it. Next thing is this eye pencil. This is also all natural. It's vegan. This came in, gee, I think it was good being box, but I'm not positive. It could have also been uh, vegan cuts box because I think I got two vegan cuts box and so that's why I'm a little bit confused about what's what. This is super nice. I have it on today. It's a really soft black like not like the harsh you know like tough lady kind of black. It's a really really soft black. That having been said it's really really short. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a problem to use this up. I remember pricing these on the website and they go for a lot of money. They're very expensive. So I don't want to have an expensive product sit, you know, of course they're longer. This is like a travel size or something. Um, I don't want to have a nice expensive vegan thing sitting around and just rotting. And there's one more thing. So this actually, if you counted these separately, which I'm not counting them together, would actually be 14 things. It does leave room for if something's rotten, but I'll replace it if something's rotten. I have this e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow. I discovered it when I did my declutter. And one side has this beautiful short well, it's not short, but this beautiful eyeliner. And it's like a really pretty purple color. And the other side has eyeshadow. And yeah, there we go. So the eyeshadow is slightly lighter than the um, eyeliner is. It's really, really pretty and I wasn't using this and I think it's time for me to start using it. 
I really do like e.l.f. cosmetics. Of course, they're cruelty-free. I haven't had a bad experience yet with them. Apparently, they'll be a bad experience in my future. I do want to say I am not going to roll things up and measure them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't risk it. This um, eyebrow pencil is only down a little. You can see. I'm just afraid of rolling these automatic pencils up and having them die like this one almost did. Um, so we're just going to have to talk about how much did I use them. How deep is the hole when I look down into it? <laughs> like I can see like this has been used by me once. <laughs> I just used it on my hand so <laughs> I don't know why it's that low. So. Anyway, that is my 13th by Halloween. I was not, I was really not going to do this, but I think it's a good project to get into, and um, it's a really great way to use up products, because that's one thing with Project Pan, is use up your stuff, and I know when I did my inventory, I was like shocked how much stuff I have, and a lot of it's old. So I just thought, you know, I, that's one of the reasons that I started doing Project Pans last year, because I knew I had too much stuff and I knew that I had to use it up. So here's my stuff for Finish 13 by Halloween. And um, I think. I picked things that I think I can be successful with. Of course, there's always the outlier of the thing that is forgotten and not used, um, but I am going to try to keep these things in this box in my drawer so that it's like in my face when I go to put my makeup on. So hopefully I get to use this all up. I was going to put a mascara in, but you know what? I already have four mascaras open. so. I just figured it's probably not a good idea to start another mascara just for this. So um, thank you for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary. And here I am diving in yet again to 13 by Halloween. Wish me luck. <laughs> and I'll be back next month with an update. Thanks. Good night.